Today we're going to learn how to count things, but there's a reason why, because we want to learn about probability. And to understand probability, you have to know how to count things. So, let me first introduce you to some vocabulary words. The first word that you need to get down is events. Events are things that happen. I'm sure there's a fancier definition, but that's going to do for us for now. The other vocabulary word we need to know about is outcomes. Outcomes are the results of an event. And then a phrase that we need to know to understand probability is sample space. Sample space uh, is, well, are all the outcomes of a set of events. So if you have several events and you look at all of their outcomes, you would call that the sample space. Now why do we need to know all this? Because we ultimately would like to be able to figure out the probability of an event eventually. And check out how we do that. Well, the probability of an event, the probability of event A, for example, is equal to the number of outcomes of event A divided by the number of outcomes of the sample space. Now, all of this will make a lot more sense if we put it into the context of an example. So let's take a look at one. So let's go through a quick example so that we can make sense of the vocabulary terms. Um, you do not have to write this down. Uh, we're not going to be calculating probability today. This is just to uh, explain the terms. Um, we're going to be counting today and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, for this example, we will roll one die. Now, you're more familiar with the term dice. Um, when we have two or more of them, they're called dice, but we're just going to roll one and it's called a die. So let's take a look and see what happens when we roll one die. Well, first of all, what's the sample space when we roll one die? Well, the list of all possible outcomes for rolling one die includes these numbers here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And let's take a look at one possible event that you could have um, when you roll one die. That one possible event could be event, and we'll just call it A, and it could be that you roll an even number on the die. And in that case, what our uh, possible outcomes would be would include 2, 4, and 6. Those are all even numbers. And let's look at another possible event, and we'll just call it B. Um, and this, this other event might be what's maybe I roll a multiple of 3. And the possible outcomes there include 3 and 6. Now, the next thing we want to consider is what's the probability of event A occurring? And the way we write that out is like this, probability of A. And we say it is equal to the number of outcomes of event A divided by the number of outcomes of the sample space. So the number of outcomes of event A include 2, 4, and 6. That's three outcomes. And the number of outcomes of the sample space include these six possible outcomes. So we have 3 divided by 6. So if we wanted to figure out the probability of event A occurring in this case, we would say it's 3 divided by 6, and we would reduce so the probability of A is equal to 1 half. Now, you don't have to write this down, and uh, we're not going to calculate any more probability today. Let's go take a look uh, at how to count things.